Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cooper here and welcome to another God of War news video. Now, a couple months ago, I made this vow to myself that I wouldn't make a video about any rumors regarding God of War because for the pa past few months, like, they've all been wrong. But here I am making another one of these videos because this time, I get the feeling that God of War Ragnarok is almost done. Now, take everything I say here with a grain of salt, but let's talk about this. The first thing we need to talk about is a number of Santa Monica employees apparently like announcing that this is their last day or something. The only one that comes to mind at the moment is Melissa Smith, who was a former artist at Santa Monica Studios. And a few days ago she announced that was her last day. This is good news because this often happens when a game project is close to completion. Because the company making the game no longer needs the developers it started off with. So these developers end up going to other studios or just quitting in general. Now by the wording of Melissa's tweet, it seems like she's going to another studio and I'm happy for her. Now we gotta talk about Ruben Voorhees 1, the lead destruction artist in God of War Ragnarok. A couple days ago, he uploaded a video to Twitter with her daughter playing God of War 2018. He writes in his tweet, she loves playing the new game, but since I can't show that footage, I'll show her playing the last game. She loves watching the trailers, so I told her let's play today. Now the first thing people find interesting about this tweet is that Ruben is playing God of War Ragnarok at home. To me this is not really important because developers are often given unfinished games so they can work from home or at least play them so they can know what to do better next time when they go back to their office. The interesting thing here is that he's tweeting about it. Developers don't often do this, which makes me think Ruben is just trying to create some hype around God of War Ragnarok. Lastly, we need to talk about the actors slash voice actors of God of War Ragnarok. This all started with Ryan Hurst, the voice actor of Thor in God of War Ragnarok. He posted a picture of him like challenging Kratos to a fight or something. I believe Christopher Judge also joined by tweeting something that said, I can't wait for you guys to see how calm and reasonable we are. And lastly, we have Sonny Soljic himself, the actor who plays Atreus in God of War Ragnarok. He posted an Instagram story that shows him wearing a hat that's used to record dialogue in games. This is really good news because this is not a mocap suit. A mocap suit is used to record the footage you see in cutscenes. This one is just for the dialogue. So it's very likely that he was just recording optional audio segments in the game, like the optional conversations he has with Mimir on the boat. All of these tweets are a good sign that not only God of War Ragnarok is going to release in 2022, but it's also very close to being completed as well. This means that we should get a God of War PlayStation State of Play very soon. Again, take everything I say with a grain of salt, but I'm sure you also find it interesting when Santa Monica employees are posting this much on social media. But that's gonna be it for today guys, let me know what you think about all of these tweets. Is Sony getting ready to show some more God of War footage? Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. As always, I want to give a big thanks to all of my members for supporting this channel monthly. I really couldn't do YouTube without your support. I would also like to thank everyone who likes and shares my videos. It doesn't seem like much, but trust me guys, it really does help. And with that said, thanks for watching. And remember, go forth in the name of Ragnarok.